Uh, hi. <laughs> you? A little onward, lend thy guiding hand to these dark steps, a little further on. For yonder bank hath choice of sun or shade. There I am wont to sit when any chance relieves me from my task of servile toil. Daily in the common prison else enjoined me, were I a prisoner chained, scarce freely draw the air imprisoned also, close and damp, and wholesome draught. But here I feel amends, the breath of heaven, fresh blowing, pure and sweet, with day spring born. Here leaves me to respire. This day a solemn feast the people hold to Dagon, thy sea idol, and forbid laborious works. Un unwillingly, this rest their superstition yields me. Hence, with leave retiring from the popular noise, I seek this unfrequented place to find some ease, ease to the body some, none to the mind from restless thoughts, that, like a deadly swarm of hornets armed, no sooner found alone, but rush upon me thronging, and present times past, what once I was, and what am now. O oh, wherefore was my birth from heaven foretold twice by an angel, who at last in sight of both my parents all in flames ascended from ascended from off the altar, where an offering burned, as in a fiery column charioting his godlike presence, and from some great act or benefit revealed to Abraham's race? Why was my breeding othered and prescribed as of a person separate to God, designed for great exploits? If I must die, betrayed, captived, and both my eyes put out, made of my enemies the scorn and gaze, to grind and brazen fetters under task with, with this heaven-gifted strength, O glorious strength put to the labor of a beast, debased lower than bond slave. Promise was that I should Israel from Philistine yoke deliver. Ask for this great deliverer now, and find him eyeless in Gaza at the mill with slaves, himself in bonds under Philistine yoke. Yet stay, let me not rashly call in doubt divine prediction. What if all foretold had been fulfilled but through mine own default? Whom have, I to com whom have I to complain of but myself? My heart aches, and a drowsy numbness pains my sense, as though of hemlock I had drunk, or emptied some dull opiate to the drains one minute past, and let thy words had sunk. Tis not through envy of thy happy lot, but being too happy in thine happiness, that thou, light-winged dryad of the trees, in some melodious plot of beech and green, and shadows numberless, Singest of summer in full-throated ease. O oh, for a draught of vintage that hath been cooled a long age in the deep delved earth, tasting of flora in the country green, dance and Provencal song and sunburnt mirth. O oh, for a beaker full of the warm south, full of the true, the blushful hippocrene, with beaded bubbles winking at the brim and purple stained mouth, that I might drink and leave the world unseen, and with thee fade away into the forest dim. Fade far away, dissolve, and quite forget what thou amongst the leaves hast never known. The weariness, the fever, and the fret here, where men sit and hear each other groan, where palsy shakes a few sad last gray hairs, where youth grows pale and spectre thin and dies, where but to think is to be full of sorrow and leaden eyed despairs, where beauty cannot keep her lustrous eyes, where new love 
pine at them beyond tomorrow. Away, away, for I will fly to thee, not charioted by Bacchus and his pards, but on the viewless wings of poesy, though the dull brain perplexes and retards. Already with thee, tender is the night, and happily the queen moon is on her throne, clustered around by all her starry fays, but here there is no light, save what from heaven is with the breezes blown through No, cut, 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 cut. We can't, we can't hear anything you're saying. You're, it's like you're, you're not even saying the words, Gerald. I am. You're not even trying. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine.